I think like for example, like what makes a good video usually will be like like uh the captions, like yeah. having the words written out of what you're yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah. So like for example, if I'm talking right now, you will see like words on the screen. Um even the B-rolls, the B-rolls, B-rolls yeah. those are those are really good. You know, yeah. the graphics, like the little graphics that might come across the screen. Or let's say, for example, if I'm talking about Chase, you'll see like the actual Chase Jeez, logo yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Like that's really good. Um, and honestly and, and, and truly, like these are the things that that we implement in our like in our content strategy yeah. that that separates us from a lot of different, you know, podcasts. Yeah. And that's what I realized, like even me and you both, where we might go on a podcast page and they've been doing it for like three, four, five years, yeah. and you only have like two thousand followers or something like that. Is because the content, the content creation content doesn't creation. look aesthetically good, you know. That's that, that. I'm glad you mentioned that, bro, because that's that's the thing with me too. Like at times, like I could go on somebody's page and I'm like, like they're a podcast, and then I'm like, I see exactly why this, you know, this page isn't growing. Like, cause I'm on your page and I want to get off. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Cause it, it, it and then it, it comes to 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 the to to the part that they're not taking feedback on what's working, what's not working. Like, cool, you got a cool 5K views here, uh, 2K views here, but you could be doing so much better if you follow these strategies. Like, mm -hmm. but some people, they, you know, they, they don't, they don't want to put the time in, you know, they don't want to put the time in to improve the content, you know? So when you get on these platforms, Instagram, TikTok, your quality has to be really good. And even if, like, you're starting off if, and the quality is like, you know, financially, like just, just economically, like it can't be the best. You could literally just express your personality in a way that's going, that's going to make people watch your video. So you got it. But if you're ignoring all of those things, then it's like, you're wondering why you're not growing, you know, and that's the reason why. So, know? so like, for example, like where's some, where's some of the plays that people get it fucked up on their page, basically? <laughs> like where, where, where did they go wrong? Um, so some, so some people, they literally with them, you could tell they, they didn't really take any time to cut out the good part of the video. Mm -hmm. They'll just cut out a part that's like a minute. <laughs> just to throw that yeah, joint they up. Just, they just throw it up. <laughs> so then it's like, now as a viewer, I feel disrespected because it's like, you just sat here and you just threw up a video and it's meaningless. You know what I mean? So I, I don't even think I'm going to even watch it for a second. I'm going to just scroll past it. So a lot of people, they're just throwing up meaningless portions of videos and their their conversation could be really good, but they're not taking the time to really go out, go out and take that good part out. So you got that part and then you got some people, they'll just throw a video up without a caption. I mean, you can do that, but you have to be kind of, you, you got to be able to hook the, the audience, the audience in, in another way. So if you're not putting a caption, I right, what are you going to do in the first five seconds? Like, what are you going to show? Like, how are you going to hook them in? So these people are not putting no visual cues. They're not putting any captions. So I'm seeing that. And I'm like, yo, what is this like? Like, it, it, it's just like, damn, like you have to include some of those things in your video or else your videos is not going to really do well. And it's like it, you're losing your audience there. So um, you got that part. And then you also have uh, just a just page set up. Like it's no consistency. Like you go through. And you see horizontal videos and you see vertical videos and then you see, it's just, you know, you just see all type of stuff. So it's, it, all that stuff will just throw you off. So you wonder why people go on your page and they're thrown off, you know, just, just look at your content, you know, just look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, that was, that was definitely a lot. And like a person, like if you're watching this and then you just re like reverse back a few minutes and you just literally list out all of those things. Like, for example, like the horizontal thing, like that thing was like, it honestly, because I used to do the same thing. Yeah. Like I will go and there was this one time where I went to like the Brooklyn Public Library yeah. and I'm outside. Um, and if you scroll down on my page, you'll probably see it by now. I had like a whole bunch of videos with the horizontal thing. I'm like, we throw it up. Like, <laughs> these is credit keys you need. Like, you need this inf yeah. information. I don't need it. You do. So I'm throwing them up, throwing them up, throwing them up. Th yeah. And I'm consistent with the, you know, the bad looking content. Because like you yeah. said, they're just throwing it up. I, I'm yeah. just get it out there. And it was un like, it was not until 
I had, you know, I had somebody just like yourself, an yeah. Instagram coach. Um, he was more in the social media side and everything like that. He's like, yo, you're giving good game. You're giving yeah. good content. But the thing is, like, like the horizontal, the black stuff in between and in the video, like, you have to make it fit the yeah. audience. Like, you have to make it fit the platform for, you know, the audience. So that way they can actually start watching it. Like, for example, even throwing in, you know, captions, a lot of times is... I'd be scrolling down my page with the silent button off intentionally. You know what mm. I mean? Like intentionally off because most too. times I really don't want to hear it. Like yeah. I will read the caption and then I will just look at it and just look, you know, and I'll read the words as yeah. it's talking. Or if they're talking and their voice or something just throws <laughs> me off, I will scroll past it just like you said. Yeah. B-rolls. B-rolls is another yeah. thing. You know, I like those kind of things. I like those kind of content. Cause I'm like, oh, shit, boom. You see the confetti, yeah. this, that. See, I'm see, like, oh, that, that looks stuff. nice. It looks good. Yeah. Guess what? Double tap, save. Yeah, save. You know? Bro, I'm glad you mentioned all of that too because you need those things in your videos. Like you need you need to have, like like you said, a lot of people are scrolling through these apps with no volume on. Like, Intentionally. With no, yeah, some, yeah, a lot of the times it's intentional. So if you're sitting here and you don't have a caption you know, then that means that the 40, 50% of people are going to scroll past your video. So you always want to put a good caption. And then if people are listening with audio, but they don't like reading, then how are you going to hook them in? You got to, once the, once, the, once the video starts, you got to hook them in. You got to, you know, throw the details of the video in that beginning part so they can stay. So it's all of these it's all of these these points that you have to include in your video for, to get people to watch it. Because, like I said, if you have a business, you know, you want to be able to, to, to hold an audience. You want to be able to grow on social media. A lot of people, you know, they got all of these great business ideas. They got these business plans. They have a business, but they're not good on social media. You know, they're, they're cheaping out on social media, which is not a good idea because... You could be doing, you could be making so much more and you could be really making a bigger network of people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like we got it. Like we could talk about, you know, just how social media impacted us. Like, I was just about to say that. You don't know. You don't even know who's watching your videos. I was just know? about like, to say it's that. It's crazy. Yeah. Because now, like, I was just about to ask you, like, how's in, how important is like social media for like, you know, creating content talking about what you do on social media, like how can that grow a person's business? And before you answer too, like, for example, with content, like with us, like we will be screenshotting, like sometimes I always see it before I do, or I, or he, yeah. I, I will see it before <laughs> he do. And we're seeing celebrities, boxers, NBA players, football players, you know, different kinds of people of high influence that's viewing our page and they're double tapping. Mm. They're following our page because they see the kind of content. But overall, let's just say, for example, if, you know, like I'm just a regular business owner, I'm not a podcast host. Yeah. Like, how can that grow our brand? You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. now you're able to start doing business on social media because now you're you're an expert in your field. Yeah. You know? It, it, it goes back to, you know, just showing your expertise. Like, um, like find out what, what, what content form works for you. And just, if you really, if you really know it works for you, like I said, find out your personality and really find out what piece of, what, what content form works for you. Like if you're, if you're the person that you could hold a conversation by yourself in front of a camera, then like I said, post that type of content consistently and just get better with every video, you know, and, Social media is a is a place where the algorithm you don't know when it's gonna pick up, you so don't. you don't know when it's gonna pick up on your video. So you want to make sure every video is is matters. You know, like like Cody said, we had notable people liking our video, and that's why I tell you guys every p every like every engagement you get matters, because now it's like these people like our video. Like who who do we have? We had Queen Latifah. Mm -hmm. We had Cedric uh, the Entertainer. Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric the Entertainer, we had literally like people who they hold a lot of weight, a lot of NFL a players. lot of NFL players. You have management uh, in the NBA, like all these people are liking our stuff, and that goes a long way because guess what? When they like or they engage with that content, now when they sign in on Instagram, Instagram is now suggesting our content to them. So now they they just basically joined our like they joined the algorithm we're in by liking our video. So now when they sign in on Instagram, they could wake up at 4 a.m. They're going to see a video we probably posted three days ago. 
And that has happened. And that, yeah. So you don't even know who's watching your stuff, you know, and you don't, you know, you don't know how far it could go. That's why I tell people like really focus on making quality content because when your video does well, like you just got a whole load of people that now you're in their, you're in their algorithm. And Instagram is really good at catching people. That's one thing. You, if you really want to know, if you really want to know what somebody's up to, look at their algorithm. Like a lot of, uh, a lot of my <laughs> algorithms, bro. <laughs> yeah, their explore page will tell you a lot about them. Um, you know, so that's crazy. that's why I tell that's why I tell people like you're <laughs> you're in your like all of those likes matter. I'm telling you guys, it matters because guess what. You're going to, Instagram is going to be thrown because the Instagram and all these social media platforms, they're in the business of grabbing people's attention. So if they like, if somebody liked your video, nine times out of 10, they're going to show them another one of your videos. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, they're to hook you in. So anytime you sign in, oh, you like this post before, well, I'm going to show you another one of their posts. And then it's like from there on in, if you could keep feeding them and feeding them with good content, you'll just keep growing. And then. What, what Instagram will do too, another thing is they'll show you content somebody you followed liked. Mm -hmm. So if somebody you followed liked, like let's say they liked our content, they're going to show their followers like, hey, somebody you follow liked this content, you might like it too. Right, that's true. So then it just starts like, that's how quickly your videos could go viral. But guess what? It has to be quality videos. It has to have all of those things I mentioned. A good hook, a good caption. You know, because if... If you got a few people engaging with it, then Instagram, they'll probably be like, yo, let me see the, let me see if I push this video to a thousand more people, how many people are going to engage with it. And, it's, and the video starts to grow, 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 grow. And then, boom, you don't know what that, those type of numbers could do to your business, you know, could do to, your, to you as a, as a content creator or whatever business that you're in. You're going to grow insanely, you know, and then, you know, the traffic is coming to you. And now you look like an expert in your field. 